Okay. You sure I can't do an intro? I don't get to do the intro anymore. Fine, hurry up. Okay. You've clicked on window shopping. And now here's your host, Tony Caroga. Hi, welcome to Window Shop with Karen Driver, the weekly show where Karen Driver editors, staffers, friends, contributors, and a road and track editor. <laughs> shop for cars online based on a challenge. Uh, this week's challenge is from our friend, senior editor, John Perley Huffman, who works over at Road and Track now. Uh, he wanted to see salvage titled cars. So he wants us to look for salvage titled cars. So see what bargains we can find or see what kind of great little uh, inexpensive gems we can find. Uh, we're also joined by senior editor, Joey Caparella, uh, contributing editor, uh, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey, and deputy testing director, Casey Colwell. Casey, you want to take it away? Yeah, I also, I love, uh, I love, I love Ramsey's Devastator t-shirt. Thank you. That's, that's vintage, that's vintage uh, uh, um, Transformers. I think I could go downstairs in the basement and pull all those out right now and put them together. Oh, right there. Tony, Tony was like, who is Devastator? What, what is this Devastator thing you have on your shirt? I thought it was related to the uh, German uh, construction company that you <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, that's, uh, I keep, I keep my construction company separate. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Yeah, I'm taking it away. And um, I, 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 as I started looking for cars, I, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, who searches out a salvage title? <laughs> and, then I, and then I was like, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. It was Pearly's idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed the search engines don't support it because you can filter by clean title, but yeah. it's harder to filter by salvage. Yeah, yeah, you got to search by keyword salvage. Oh, yeah, Auto Tempest. Uh, Auto Tempest has a salvage search. Yeah, box. Craigslist has it, but a lot of the like autotradercars.com. Um, and I and I went through. I had. A, I mean, I just a bunch of different cars I found. But oh, uh, I found that one too. This uh, the seven forty. Yeah. yeah, and it actually it was a nice it's car. Good. Right, but um, that's long wheelbase too. That's 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 a limousine. I know it's it's a it's an ill. It's a seven forty ill. Um, but nope, going cop car because I don't oh, want to spend yeah. a ton of money. And um, I believe I've won an episode with one of these before. Uh, well, <laughs> to the judges. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh. so it's uh, it's a, it's an eighty thousand mile uh, Caprice PPV. So this is uh, post. Uh, this was made after um, uh, the G8 and then the SS. Mm -hmm. And then there was no longer an SS, but then they kept making these uh, for a while. Uh, SS might have came after. Well, this. the SS was after. Yeah. SS was after this. Yeah, but like yeah, so this, was pre, this was between G8 and SS then. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah well, this has a longer wheelbase than the G8 or the SS. Correct. Yeah. And you can Is see it? that in the doors in the profile. Does it have Sorry. pictures of the accident? It sounds like it was in an accident. Yes, it was. It wasn't an accident. Uh, they have the livery. Livery. Uh, I'll go through here. Oh, it's like it's got like a matte finish. Is it like wrapped or is it? Uh... I mean, you can see it's clearly it was it was cop car used. I was uh, say, that's. I mean, that's because that's got biohazard. That's got chemicals. That's got a little bit of everything. So salvage. it didn't have. So this isn't. I. This isn't like the molded back seat. From yeah, it has the door You know. They usually say. Ask me how I know about those. <laughs> and uh, uh, but uh, but I mean, it's it was it was clearly used as uh, as an actual um, uh, cruiser, least, at least, least I can tell. And this they, is what they, uh, this save, is. they usually save the back seats and then take out the molded ones, put the, put the stock put, ones, put in the stock ones again, put yeah. the stock ones back in. Yeah, and that yeah could be. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, this Wait, is, uh, this is, is this? a V eight rear drive sedan, twenty thirteen. Well, no, I was gonna say this isn't the Montana serial guy, because remember Ben had that like, cop car. Like serial DC. marshmallows? I don't know. Is it Casey? No, it's in DC. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what does it say? It was in an accident. Oh, we did the whole yeah. right quarter, quarter panel. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, vehicle was on an accident in Texas. Auction Pennsylvania. We did the hood front and panel. Perfect. That seems like a minor accident for a salvage title. Well, you know, if air, that's the other. I mean, like, I found a lot of cars. Like, there are a lot of modern cars. You can, you can get it if, if all of the airbags pop in your car. You that can that can put you into salvage territory pretty quickly. Yeah, if your mm -hmm. car's older. Yeah, for sure. It, does, it does. You know, the 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 insurance companies make the calls on salvage titles, and a lot yeah. of times they just look at they look at it not just as like how much is it going to cost to fix, but do we want to accept the liability of this thing going forward? Ah. Uh. 
And what they do is they'll 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 cut their losses and say it's just not worth the it's not worth the potential liability and the top expense of fixing it. It's not uh, a stiff, it's not but I mean, it, but this is this is supposedly just a hood and a quarter panel. I mean, that's there's got to well, be if it was front end damage, you got to assume that that airbags probably blew. And, mm -hmm. right. So why would this be salvaged and not rebuilt? Because if it's been fixed, shouldn't it be rebuilt title? So I think so not all states do rebuilt titles. Uh, okay. Correct, Pearly? Can we yeah, uh, salvage title really. experts? I am the salvage title. The salvage is five. five okay. but for the last thirty seconds, I've become a salvage title. Well, in this panel, you're definitely the salvage title expert. Yeah, <laughs> and that's not a good thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, I liked that they made a they made a custom little wood wood tray. I think that's where the the big mount for a computer normally. Oh, uh, I thought that was like a backgammon table. <laughs> it might have been one travel backgammon. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was South Korean go. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, again, mm. like, like, I think we had a budget of like 25 grand this week. No way I'm spending $25,000. Yeah. That's what I, I was wondering that too. Cause I found some expensive stuff, but then I was like, would I really want to invest that much money into a car with a cell? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, harder if you, to sell. But if you find something that's like normally 75 grand for 25 grand, that's right. salvage, like maybe it's worth the, maybe, yeah, it's, maybe it's worth taking a flyer. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like maybe... maybe this guy boom yeah oh well that's 20 that's 2009 though i mean that's yeah but that's a 6.2 that's no turbo all uh, right huh and it's not high yeah. mileage either all right casey you're presenting you know. multiple cars you slip that in there <laughs> <laughs> um mr ramsey you want to go next am i next oh, yeah. all right so the between yesterday's show and today's show they sold the car i uh wanted let me see if i can get zoom to work they sold the car I wanted. So I was also debating how much to spend. And my second choice had been this guy. Oh Ooh. my God, that's awesome. Because Bentley, it says it's a Bentley, but it's a Rolls Royce, isn't it? Well, this is the Bentley version. So the 63 Continental. <laughs> but it's got a Rolls Royce hood on it. Yeah, that's, but, got, but, a, that's got a spirit of ecstasy. But I was going to say, well, but for everything, every Bentley was a Rolls Royce effectively. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, totally. So, yeah. Is it, this, this one's obviously been converted. Um, well, they just put the grill on it. Yeah, yeah, they just put the grill on it. This it's still a bit, um, but this is not my car. My car no? is actually. I, I love that. I'm disappointed that's not your car. All right. <laughs> um, well, then you're gonna be even more disappointed probably in this because this is my car. Oh. This is the one I'm taking a flyer on. Uh, How much is it? It is auction, right? Nope, 14 grand. Oh, buy it now. There you go. So I got 10 grand left. And the only, the primary damage is just normal wear. It runs oh, and drives. Runs and drives. Well, sorry. So normal it, wear probably means it's mechanically totaled. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> because why would it be salvaged then? You're looking at the, you're look, looking at this R button, which means, and it moves under its own power. <laughs> That's a low bar. <laughs> okay. With the V10 M5 <laughs> of this vintage. Go through the photos. Right. I want to see this. I want to see this wear and tear or normal. Yeah. That's not that many miles. So what would be the wear that would cause? Yeah, exactly. I look. I don't know what the what the deal is with it, but it's got it's got a it's got a, a Nissan BQV6. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks. I mean, the sheet. The seats are a little shiny. That bolster yeah. has seen better days, but I don't think that would total this car, would it? Uh, yeah, I mean, this this looks like someone was sliding in over the bolster, so I don't know if, like, Vern can Troyer... You owned have a salvage title? Can you have a salvage I, title where the maintenance is so expensive that it's more than the value of the car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That'd be a perfect question. Total. It's mechanically totaled, yeah. yeah. But like, yeah. you have to do normal repairs, but it's like... Oh, go back to the cluster. engine something. Go to the cluster shot. No check engine lights in the one second that they took this photo. <laughs> Look, there is a little warning thing next to the end. The, well, I mean, that, oh, that could, oh, that be, could be for the brake or the seatbelt. The seatbelt, yeah, yeah, for the doors open. Yeah. If that were red, it would be it would be more of a concern. It's got that. a surprising amount of gas in it for a car like this. <laughs> That's because this is good times. Like you can't. And move. that thing's wait, wait, no, no. Go back to that because and he's also let this thing warm up because the tack is all yeah, the way up to all the way the, over the yeah. red line. And when was this photo taken? Where is it? Where is it? Where are the where do the trees not have leaves right now? <laughs> 
Well, I mean, <laughs> salvage cars have been, uh, you never know what, where they're going to be. This one Boston. is in, yeah, well, Mass, yeah, North Boston, <laughs> North Balerica, wherever that is. It makes me wonder if this might be a, um, a scam. That or it was a stolen car and, or, or it was like lost title and they only issued a salvage title. Something like that. It could, yeah. it, 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 because it, I, like, because I called the place, I called, oh, this is actually, this is a broker. So this is actually with Copart or Copart, whatever you say. Um, Cause there was another M5 that was 10 grand um, and it didn't run, which is why it was 10 grand. This one though does run and She's like, nope, everything runs and, and goes on its own power. So with $11,000 to spare for this car, I'd take a flyer on it. Yeah, you can buy, you can buy new spark plugs for that. Brave. Plus that SMG, that single clutch automated manual is awful in these cars. Yeah, it's pretty horrible to live with. It was a bad time for BMW. But they sound, the cars, they sound amazing. Though. The engine's very spectacular, yeah. 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 I mean, this... pull, pull the engine out, put a T56 behind it. <laughs> Oh, a T56? Yeah. Yeah, What's you know, that? you got, you got $11,000 to build a custom bell housing. Sure, why not? <laughs> don't, you, don't, you think somebody, don't you think somebody builds a bell housing to adapt like a T56? Well, they thing? made manual versions of this car from the factory, yeah. so it's possible to get that. Because a lot of this problem with that, Perley, is convincing the computer that everything was okay. I mean, this car probably That's has yeah. 50 onboard computers. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out some reason to... Uh, to be able to take a fire on this vehicle, and I and I think the only thing I can come up with is put. I mean, if that photo there, it looks like a clean car. It looks fine. It is, but I mean, with the exception yeah. of the interior. You know, the photo was taken so long ago. This is before the wear and tear took place. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, this was actually when it was new. <laughs> <laughs> this is although wait, wait, the paint the paint looks really faded. Actually, go back. Yeah. Oh, no, I think that's I think that's just polarization from the. This is like one of those things where you need like the the today's newspaper and the, 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 yeah. <laughs> the proof, proof of life. <laughs> um, uh, I think it's this is just yeah they needed a, a a filter on the camera for that. I think it looks great. I mean, and even the for eighty one thousand miles, like yeah, this isn't. It's just so the, bottom, the bottom end bearings on these go right at like a hundred thousand miles. You have to replace all the bottom end bearings. So this I got is eleven bottom, grand. That's about I got eleven point. grand to jack it up in my yeah, garage. Okay. okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. And do whatever it needs. But why I not? Even, you know, but you know that small block in the uh, in the PPV is just going to keep rolling. It is. But just do you it don't want to. Well, I I do not want to drive around in a an old Caprice PPV. That's going to be a bad look for me. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. Wait, 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 wait. Why? <laughs> oh, God, don't go there. All right, fine. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we, we can. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Caparella, you are next up. I also found a BMW, but a weirder one. Oh. oh. Ooh. oh. Clown oh. shoe. Mm. So this is the non M clown shoe. That's fine. It's, they're perfectly good. Not I actually think it's kind of cooler in, in a way. And I think they're actually more rare. There were fewer, I believe there were fewer of the Z3 versus the Z3 M coupe. Did you like these, Joey? I mean, the shape is just like nothing else. I mean, it's so <laughs> strange and it's kind of like a wagon in a way. I mean, it's, I guess it's more and, like a and kind shape. of like a polyp, which is also shaped like <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> They're awesome. I almost got the M version. I almost got an M version uh, like 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I, remember. I always like the proportions of the Z3 because it's got that long hood and the kind of shark fin thing. Like it's just a really classic your, design. Your butt is basically at the rear axle. Which is this really is low mileage too. This is cool. Yeah. So this is a rebuilt title, not a salvage title. Which oh. Means, you know, oh. Kind of fit. Ooh, I don't know mm. if that, uh, I don't know if that qualifies. Yeah, I think that's, a challenge. Uh, I think that's going to be because that's I, different. I think you're going to have it's to different, different. But at one point, right, if it's rebuilt, at one point it was salvaged. No. No? Yeah, I don't no. know. Where is this? This is Spokane. This is the state of Washington? Yeah. It's like if it's salvaged, it means it hasn't been fixed yet. And then when you fix it, it gets the rebuilt title. Uh, hmm, I don't think that's how that. No. Well, no. really, states would have. Uh... Different states have different rules. When you look at the state of Washington salvage title rules, uh, let's, I mean, let's, you know, 
Wash yeah, let's get some paperwork. Let's distract Pearly for a moment. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway, it's definitely cheap because let's it's see the really photos. Cool. Oh, did you already go through them? There's not that many photos, unfortunately. Uh, there's no interior. Photos. There's no interior. There's no interior, interior yeah. Photos, yeah. Oh, looks like it might be a red. We, is that a red? Here we have. It looks sorry, good, I have to interject. Yeah. Or no, that's Joey really is cool. correct. Of a in Washington State, a rebuilt title reflects a vehicle that has been rehabilitated after being issued a salvage title. Yeah. Okay. That's right. what I thought. It says oh, right here. Oh, okay. right here on... so you're, you're within the rules. I think no, 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 no. It's not my interpretation. <laughs> it was a salvage title. Oh. <laughs> so it's no longer a salvage title. Exactly. And wait, okay, you but complained it's about still not. It's still not a clean title. You wait. You complained about when my BMW photos were taken, and now we're gonna say that it's okay to have a salvage title in its past. Okay, well, regardless, it's way cheaper than this would be if it had a clean title. <laughs> I think, I, I think, I think Joe, I'm sorry, but Joey's logic is sound. Yeah, this would be like, a close Once to the salvage, no. once the salvage, no. always the salvage. It may, that, it, sound it, it, if, if, if Pearly says the logic is sound, <laughs> odds are it's not sound. <laughs> say, probably right, probably right. The challenge said salvage title, not but salvage okay, title. Like a rebuilt title. Asked. Look, a rebuilt look, look. title car is still cheaper and worse than a clean title car. Right? I, 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 didn't say, I didn't say go out and find. We said I want to go find somebody and have an affair with somebody who's married, not somebody who was married, somebody who's <laughs> currently married. Okay, can I, can I show the? I found the law. Do you want to read the law? Jonathan Please. already read it, buddy. <laughs> he, he wants the legal. He wants the code of the, the, the civil code in the. <laughs> Forget well, it. I looked at what a clean title car like this would be, and it's like 25 or 30. So yeah, exactly. That's what Wait a minute, my, a, a clean V10 M5 is a lot more than 10 grand. Yeah, so I'm saying this is the same. You're oh. saying there's value. There's value here. It's right. true value. Uh, do you, are any of your other choices salvage titles? Were they? Well, the, there was one that I found that was rebuilt also, but it said it was due to theft. So, And I think it was in a different state. So it feels hmm. like it depends on the rules in each state, how they issue title. All right. So wow. one thing that goes wrong on these is the rear differential is mounted to the rear floor and it will rip some of the welds out of the rear floor if, it, if they're driven aggressively. Some of them, it just happens to some of them. Do these, do these have a trailing arm rear suspension like uh, the older? Like they do. This is like a weird mix. The, the chassis code is E36 backslash eight. four. No, right. slash eight. Yeah, and it's there's some like E30 in here. There's there's some yeah, e it's a mashup. Yeah, it's a, it's a mashup of stuff. And wasn't it they they couldn't fit the the new suspension into the uh, the packaging of the back? That's why they kept it. And these cars have a cool story because um, BMW. This was just like a, a project, like a weekend project for the engineers that they wanted to put a roof on the Z3. It wasn't officially. Um, sanctioned and then the engineers just made this thing and then they put it in front of the board and the board thought it looked kind of goofy and cool and they built it wasn't the, was the c3 the first uh, american made uh uh BMW in south yeah. carolina Spartanburg, yeah. south carolina yep so you know that's kind of it's an interesting car in interesting history yeah it's and totally i think cool. they're totally kind of cool and i think they're aging well. i think they're, yeah, yeah they're, and they're aging well so i i, I agree with you. aging well really Dude. Yeah, I love it. It looks good. Yeah. If there's yeah. anybody who knows anything about aging here, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on the bingo board? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think they, I think they have aged far better than anyone would have expected when they came out. But I mean, I love well. it. So I mean, I like bar. it because it's weird. I mean, that's the main thing. Yeah, so I love it. Jim. Yeah, I'm not going to see another one. The no, shape. I, I dig the car. Just so. Yeah, I think it's a cool car. It's Do those all have two tone interiors? Do those oh, have two tone interiors? Do the cars have two tone interiors? Well, they would have. They would have like M1's colored have seats, things. colored seats, and and black carpets. M1's and one you get with like a blue interior, but I don't know about the non ends. Cool. So we got a oh, we got a rebuilt title car with no interior okay good check <laughs> <laughs> yes, i'm not getting judges that. coming out now <laughs> he's dismantling your car <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right mr hoffman okay i know this is personal history because i know how much people want to read here about me um That's so we're here are you going to tell a story first well i'm going to tell a story but it's you know because it's, 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 it's not the same without the story I lost. Oh, there it is. That's half the value of the car, Pearly. <laughs> uh, 
Thank the you. tail. This is uh, going back to uh, my time at Carcraft, where <laughs> I, I built a. I built this is a car actually. No. <laughs> 1965 yeah. Impala. We built this car in, uh, in the early 90s, and this is the while we were building it. it started are off as Prime Wheels. Is that the brand? Yeah, these are these are primes. This is what we were built. We were trying to figure out what wheel and tire we get because nobody had ever built a big big car before back then. We were one of the very first to build a big car. And it's my friend Mike Johnson, late Mike Johnson. Miss you, Mike. Uh, is it wait? But is it the biggest? Oh, <laughs> uh, the recall lesson. It's well for hot rodders. They never built big cars until we built right. Project Heavy Metal. And um, we we painted it camo. Mike painted, Mike and I painted it camo, and then we compared it to a tank. And uh, here's this is what it was when it's completed, uh, which was it had a 496 big block that Kenny Duttweiler built and uh, ran tens. It was a bitching car. And, uh, you know, it's just a really cool car. And then after uh, we built it, it got stolen. And uh, I was walking my, my newborn son uh, out, in, uh, out by my house. And all the parts were in the back of a station wagon parked across from the street from my house in Santa Barbara, which was really strange. Your neighborhood is crime ridden. Things like that happen in sunny Santa Barbara. I was going to say. I was, <laughs> I'm shocked. So anyhow, anyhow, I went to Copart in 1965. Impala. Uh, that's up uh, up for bids on the on the auction. Oh, how, wait, how much do they want for this? Well, they don't say, but they, they, they have a ridiculous oh. how much it's worth. It's worth a lot less than what they say. Okay, wait. What do you mean they don't say how much they want for? There's got to be a reserve, right? There's no reserve on it. Burley, Burley, do you think that the person that got into this accident even felt the accident? <laughs> no. This, 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 the thing is, I'm very familiar with these cars, so I know how to fix. I mean. Let's put it this way. If I if I stand a chance of fixing anything, it's this car. Okay, wait, and you're but you're gonna this is worth straightening a frame? Yeah, it's you know, these frames are very easy to straighten because it's a separate it's a separate body of frame. It's not a it's not a unibody. Right. It's, it's two frame rails. It's it's very it's relatively easy to put it on I frame. Think of that frame. under hood shot. You always have to cycle through the Okay, hood. wait a minute, wait a minute. There there have been five views. At least three of them were pearly. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you can get this for next to nothing. But this is a, these are, these are, they're really wonderful cars. They're very easy to make them very, very fast because the chassis is set up very, very nicely. This one's got, yeah, the like damage isn't actually that bad, really. And the damage here is pretty small. It's got aluminum well, radiators. You know, I mean, it says frame damage. We don't know what yeah. the damage is. It's pretty well, low. Yeah, guess, the impact is kind of low. Yeah. And it's got a pan down there collecting something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, look, I, it's, it's not going to work out, but it's a very simple car. I That's mean, it's nice. not a car. The rear end is really. But I mean, for, for as many of these are just out and about for sale, is it worth doing all this work? Not well, knowing not how much this one's going to cost? There aren't as many as you think are out for sale. Well, Jonathan, just... we could ask you the same question of your M5. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait, what? No. <laughs> one, my M5 has a price, which is clearly much lower than the prices of the, of the other M5s of that vintage. True. This is a 60, it's a 65, it's a 65 Impala. This is almost identical to the one I had when we did Project Heavy Metal all those years ago. It's a oh, car. I, I, almost, I almost feel bad enough for you to vote for your car. It's well, kind of nice, pity. actually. Thanks for the pity. They're, they're great looking cars. This is yeah, cool. It's cool. I'm, it is very nice looking. How different are these from 64s? 64 used the next frame. It was the old car they introduced in 59. 65 was the first year for the full perimeter frame for all the B cars at GM. And uh, it is a, this is the best-selling car in America that year. They built like 700,000 of them. It was just unbelievably popular. It was the best-selling year for the full-size Chevy. But also it wasn't like every Chevy, the Impala. Like there were actually a lot of different models. No, there's there's Biscaynes. There were Biscaynes and there were um, Bel Airs. And the Impala was the top of the line. And then uh, Caprice joined the line. Is there, like interior, there. is there an interior photo? Remember, this is a presentation. Right. <laughs> you know, um, and they're actually like not crazy. With the, logo. They're not crazy with the value, Pearly, based on Impalas for sale at Auto Trader and Classic no, Cars. It was fixed. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think it's going to go. They say it's worth 37. It ain't worth 37. Um, but it's, uh, you know, only 59,000 miles. Mm. This car's got a lot of potential in it, and it, it's easy to fix and be a lot of fun. And it's a car that I have a personal history with. It's in California too. You can go it's get it. Click so, on the um, click on the S for the highlights, the engine start program. Where no, is that? Whoop, 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 to the right. right nope. Oh, yeah, right there. 
engine start. Hmm. Start it and ran it idle. So basically, this is saying ran when parked. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but it ran. Yeah, it ran. Look, the reason the reason for buying this is not to just take it out and drive it. It's the reason would be to start a hot rod project. And it would start a hot hot rod project that I've already done one of them. So well, we I, I mean, we don't know what this costs, which is an issue. It's a, yeah. it's on it's on it's on it's it's on a bid. It's it's being it's being. Well, on we realize that. <laughs> yeah, we know how auctions work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> we left. We got rid of him. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a bingo. That's a bingo. All right. Hey, um, staff talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm not confident enough in my car this week. Wait, I thought you were going first. How did you end up going last? Yeah, again? what happened? We're going to vote on paper, okay? <laughs> oh, we are? Let's, yeah. The fix is in. So you're no, saying no, you don't no. think you're going to win this week? No, I don't know if I'm, I'm not so sure I'm going to win this week. So, well, maybe since he's usually so confident, this will be the opposite. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I win when I'm not that confident. Boom! Electrified. Hey, I saw this. Oh God, we saw this car before. Are you kidding me? Oh Look my God, we've seen this car before. <laughs> oh my God. It was on Wheeler Dealers. This is the car on Wheeler Dealers. That's Ooh. what it was. That's what it was. Is that like celebrity owned. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can have an entire episode. Wow. Of an hour long show with um, what's his name, Mike? Uh, Mike, 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 the British guy. You don't yeah. like. Yeah perfect beautiful maserati by turbo it's been gone through by their mechanic and he electrified yeah. it and he took honestly it's probably line. more reliable than the standard powertrain that came with yes oh, yeah. according to the listing it's quicker and you know tv shows are known for their you know top-notch work <laughs> well, <that's laughs> like hit my ride or something yeah <laughs> so it has a salvage title because it sat for so long apparently oh, oh wait hold on battery hold on if you're serious about owning this car, it's important you have a good working knowledge of conversions and how to look after a battery pack in this configuration. That's a red flag. Yeah. That's, well, that's fine. That's no, just, that's not batteries. fine. That's just no. And I, like, I like the fact that it still has the five-speed manual transmission. I mean, what's the mm. point? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, a Tesla battery pack. That's kind Jonathan, of Jonathan, this is one of your guilty pleasures. And now yeah, you with, a, with a Maserati engine, yes. Not with the not with the batteries that some dude from some country put into it and tells me I need to know how to look after them. It was done in the States. I, I think it wasn't some country. They did this in the States. <laughs> the United States. <laughs> Jingoism, we're doing <laughs> no, 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 because they were talking about the British Mike from that Tony oh, doesn't yeah. like <laughs> Mike Brewer. Mike Brewer, Mike what about you, and mate, yeah, mate, that's how this, this might be a nardy steering wheel, it might not be. It's got this oh. display, it's got Wait, it's the, displays. that's a tent, really, Tony, really. <laughs> it's you're gonna, the you're gonna pitch it's those. <laughs> oh, wow, do you think the tack works? No. This is a gorgeous car. No, Look it's not. They painted it. It's not a gorgeous wheels. car. Look at the wheels. Whoa. Look at that. That's awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Tone. It looks, tone. It's like a E30 <laughs> gone wrong. Gorgeous <laughs> car? Exactly. Yeah. Listen to this man. He's gotten a little carried away. Listen to him. What is yeah. that? I want, I want a very um, <laughs> cute <laughs> viewer to go through and see what Tony has said about, about bi turbos in the past. And, see, yeah. and all I have to do is look up the shows where one I have brought a bi turbo to the yeah. show. And I <laughs> loved it, Jonathan. I backed you. I totally had your back. Oh. Does this have this? Does this have a the, uh, the 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 lane sticker on? Is that one of the? Yeah, it looks like it's got the carpool thing. Carpool sticker lane. And what oh, is? Yeah, what is, what yeah, is it's a got bar? the access OK sticker. Although that Can you imagine little... that you know among a bunch. Of... No, like, it just throws up. Bolt up, and everyone's looking at you, like wondering what, how you got one of those stickers. Oh, I don't think that's that looks like a bootleg sticker, to be honest. That's not the right color. So, so in other words, oh, yeah, aren't they green for all electric? Yeah, they they've changed. I think they're like I green. They were yellow. Um, so that was for wait, what is what's a Mara anyway? I don't know. It's a Maserati with some letters removed. I don't remember, and I <laughs> no. saw the episode. This is from the episode where um, hmm. where Mike was driving it, and he was so thrilled because it was the most amazing electric experience ever. I don't believe it. And why did they put a different plate on it on the show? How old is this car? That's a fake plate just for the show. That's a fake California plate. Hmm. You like how I know that? <laughs> it's too many letters. <laughs> too many letters. Um, so, yes. Okay, but this warning... 
you know, this is a warning that is a lighter warning than any Maserati by Turbo owner should. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Pearl? Wow. Where, where, right wow. Behind, you see an offer. You are so, really... anyway, electric drive system with modern lithium batteries, brushless induction motors, 100 to 125 miles on a charge. I mean, I think this is a winner. You've got there a... is. Well, look, how long I, does I it take to charge? You, you're gonna come out one day. You're gonna come out one day. That car is not gonna start, and the guy, the guy's gonna be like, "Oh, did you check the turbo and cabulator? I told you, you <laughs> had to, you had to make sure it revved up to." Hey, yeah, you had to put the this turbo and cabulator every night, otherwise it wouldn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You do not want that car. Look at this. Price too high, make me an offer. But I, I think you want this car probably more than you want the car before the conversion. Because with that Maserati no. V6, carbureted, that's not much. Carbura carbureted Maserati V6 with a turbocharger is not a good idea. With two turbochargers. Not and neither is this. Yeah. Is Pearly okay? Because he looks like he's lost. <laughs> I, think, I think my car ruined him. We can't hear him either. <laughs> I think he's looking something up. Are you looking up, Pearly? Or is he pen? His mic is, he's muted. Oh, you've muted yourself, Pearly. What, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't mute you. There you go. So I think he's having I'm, right, I'm, writing down, I'm writing down my choice. Oh, okay. Uh, now, now we've reached the part of the show where we <laughs> pick our favorite, where we judge each other's picks and then pick a favorite. Um, <laughs> I can't remember what KC's car was. Cop car. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. PPV. <laughs> it's the only one that's not going to need work to run. Mine runs perfectly. So mm -hmm. does mine. So does mine. Mm hmm. <laughs> Joey, are Yours we, does, yeah, yeah, jo, no, 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 yeah, okay. Are we allowed hey, to vote, Joey, or is that just at our discretion? It was a salvage title that then became not a salvage title. Oh, don't tell us, Kate. Wait, what? What is that? Abstaining. Abstaining. <laughs> That's, That's not allowed. allowed. There are no abstentions. You have to leave. You have to leave the state if you don't want to take a vote in the Senate. <laughs> so, <See ya. laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's good. Bye. All right. Um, All right. Who went first? Casey, you went first. Hardy, thumbs up on the PPV. I like that car. Yeah, it's fun. yeah, it's fun. Oh, and yeah. not a lot of money either. And it seems to be running. Not a lot of money. I think it would if you if you're like it would. I mean, it's a rear drive V8. I mean, but I mean, it's somewhat it's, modern, it's, but, but it's been anyway. through some things. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling to come up with a vote here because Joey, I think, bent the rules a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Pearly's but car is just bent. Run. Like Pearly's car doesn't run, right? I mean, yes, it's a project, but I'm not shopping for a project. Um, well, none of us the are. M5, I love. I love the. I would. That, that's a car I would love to own at some point. Terrifying the whole process from the day you buy it to the day you sell it. But with with Anything. eleven grand, with eleven grand in the bank to keep you going, oh, you no. see you run out of money. It's not, gonna stay it. in the bank. it's not going to stay in the bank very long. Eleven grand. That car, that car. That car burns. Through. You get you get BMW Formula One V10 technology for seven days, and then you park <laughs> it, put it on Craigslist. Seven and you good get your days. Money back. Those, those aren't seven. Those aren't seven consecutive days. Those are That's seven days. <laughs> Okay. You can't see so, what it's going to be. I mean, an electrified Maserati looks pretty good in this company. Uh, I, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't. I really don't think it does. But I mean, I, I guess, I mean, I, I, I go, I mean, it's. I can't read it. I know. Wait. Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, man. You're going you're gonna to bend I, the rules? What? You're going to bend the rules? A, a $14,000. M uh, what are those E sixties? A fourteen thousand dollar E sixty M five is terrifying. Yeah, that is uh, terrifying. That's that, that, that title one. Yeah, that turns into thirty thousand dollars to be able to to enjoy that car. But you've already got eleven basis. of that thirty, so you get oh you yeah, get, I, yeah, you another know, nineteen. You get, you get a you know, third of the nineteen at it. <laughs> All right, uh, Jonathan, E sixty M five with normal wear, which means it's worn out. You saw it. What do you mean it's more? You, you were looking at the photo. I think it looks pretty good. I'll give it a It's terrifying. Thank you, Joey. It's terrifying. That's oh, terrifying my God. Property. There's got to be a cat. Who knows? Hey, Pearly, are you aware that we're put... on a show? <laughs> I think he's programming a website. I think he's programming like a voting website for 
I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying, I'm trying to do a good presentation here so you can actually read my choice. He's dusty. All. He's dusting. Are you, are you still off? writing down your choice? Yes. <laughs> he's dusting off his uh, HTML skills right now. <laughs> That's, he's, it's a, he's got an Apple Newton that he's going to write. It's going to be a star wash. <laughs> Do I need to actually write something down? No, no, yes. no, please. You don't need to write anything. I picked down. long ago. Yeah, only cheaters need to write things down. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Joey, um, what did I? You just, you, you, you just broke the rules. I, the, I was told I could not abstain. The sanctity of window shop. Jonathan, so, what are you picking? What's your car? Um, uh, I'm going with the, the clown shoe. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah. Wait. Next, you right? gave me. Wait. wait, wait you just you, gave... hey, you broke the seal. You broke the seal. Oh. Okay. After that, <laughs> what's it matter? Okay. okay. I give did, a did I go up next up. or did Pearly go next? No, I went next. Yeah. 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 Thumbs up for the crowd too. Yeah, that's a good choice, even though it's rebuilt with no interior. <laughs> it might have an interior. We just don't have a very might. Of course. Wait, what's your favorite? What's your pick? I actually am picking Pearly's Impala. Thank you. Yay. I really liked it. <laughs> oh, man. Against all odds, I really liked this, it. This is like opposite day. <laughs> I guess it depends on the price, but you know, yeah. we're all bent. <laughs> well, among Jonathan, other things. <laughs> Jonathan, in 1964, that was about as norm core as it got. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, best selling yeah, car. There is that. <laughs> like a Camry. There is that. <laughs> Okay. Well, what I said. I no, but it's a nice looking. The the body is really nice. Just except for the, except for the part that is for the crashed part. <laughs> yeah. But that's sort of the challenge this week, right? All right, Pearly, you just got to vote. Uh, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. I think it's a cool choice. It's a cool yeah. looking car. Uh, I don't know what it costs though, which is a problem. I mean, so maybe yeah. we'll go. Among it doesn't run. Things. Doesn't. I mean, it's it's yeah. It it's ran a, it, at one point. It's a salvage car. It's 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 a raw material car. I, mean, I, I, I guess I guess I thought the challenge was find something that has a salvage title that you can still drive, not let's find a project. Well, my, my, my thing, my thing is that's, that's, those of, are two different things. My thing, my thought on it was if it's a salvage title, I would rather have something I think I could fix myself and know exactly the quality of the work that's going in. You should have said all that in your salvage. challenge. Yeah, yeah that, that was that. not in the in the text message. Your challenge. Challenge. I guess it was open to interpretation. You just wrote oh, salvage yeah, yeah, title yeah. in the text. We interpreted, we interpreted it different ways. I'm salvage right. title I'm question mark twenty five question mark. Is that a word? Interpreted? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking. I, yeah, I need to update my thesaurus as well. Nothing. <laughs> uh, I am a professional writer. <laughs> Early. What did you pick? M five. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. WZ3. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it there. You, you killed it. <laughs> really good. I was going to say, it, it, it took you three hours to write that? Ah, oh, God damn it. There we go. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so much better than paper. <laughs> oh, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, the well, well Captain Cap already won, hasn't he? Yeah, I already won. So. Yeah, but you don't. Know, you can't. Can, 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 can we all just have the joy of voting down Tony's pile of crap? Yeah, that's Come on. <laughs> no other car. Is yeah. anybody going to vote for us? The other car was a what car? Oh, come on. Come on. And I hate no, to you do don't. This, come on. I love the bi turbo. But, I think it's relish. No, I do hate to do it because if it, I mean, but really, that. I mean, you think my car was sketchy? My car was sketchy. My car was on a TV show. Your car was not. <laughs> that's a demerit. No way! You get to see one hundred percent. Their M fives have been on a TV show in the past. <laughs> well, not Jonathan. Not <laughs> I mean, Jonathan's might have been like on like I don't know some like murder show. Oh, here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Here's murder, murder, like twenty eight hours or twenty twenty. <laughs> right. Law and order, Law and order SVU. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then Tony <laughs> Caparella with the win. Like it, okay, is it, wow, like, unanimous. Was that unanimous? A, yeah, the decisive win. But My God, with the might have title. But you did a good job cheating. <laughs> that's not a cheat. Boom. A different kind of cheating, though. Here no, that's like a different kind of. No, cheating. it's like it's like F one cheating. Like it's not really cheating, <laughs> but you know, it's cheating. All right, it's well, that means... it's yeah. absolutely dipping the body. What? So what? I'm sorry. Go, I'm sorry. Go on, Tony. So that brings <laughs> us to the end of this episode. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and um, 
We have a new video, guys. So we're trying to get these out every week, but not always succeeding. So we apologize for the delay. And if you watch this long, thank you and subscribe and like, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye. I mean, if I know we're getting.